All right, we got another learning experience. Yes, it is upside down. So let's go zoom out and let's look at what we found. Remember in the other video, I told her there was a little bolt on there and I said it's a uh, oil drain plug because it is. And do you see this beauty? That metal flake, isn't that beautiful? Don't we love to see this stuck inside our system without flushing it? And that is what it looks like. And that was from that hole right there with the oil drain plug. Where's that oil drain plug? Eh, I dropped it, there it is. So this one does have an oil drain plug and that's the oil drain plug right there. And what it has is it has a trapped encapsulated section of the body that does not drain out the oil through the ports. It's literally trapped down in here for all the rotating bearings and gears. Now usually you'll have more oil than this, but because the system went low on charge first, as a compressor operates and the uh, refrigerant mass volume goes down, only a hot vapor gas goes back to the compressor. And that hot vapor gas does not carry the oil back to the compressor, it gets trapped in the evaporator. And then as the compressor continues to operate, it keeps overheating because there's no cold gas going back and lack of lubricant. So it starts spinning with no cooling and lack of lubricant, and this is the result. And so when you do put on a new compressor, if it does have the full amount of oil, this is like a quarter ounce. And if the whole system has five ounces, it's all up in the evaporator. And if the new compressor has five ounces, guess how many ounces you have inside the system? And that's how that works. All right guys, a learning experience.